During the 70s, Lola Falana seemed to have it all. She was a triple threat. This lady could sing, she could act, and beyond that she was intelligent and articulate with a keen sense of humor and beauty to match. So why oh why would she end up on Johnny Carson's band guest list? Well give me just a couple of minutes and I'll do my best to explain. But first, let's talk just for a moment about Lola's career. For years I wasn't sure what came first, singing or acting. I remember her in movies like Lady Coco and The Klansman, but a quick look at Wikipedia reveals that music is where Lola first made her mark. Discovered by Sammy Davis Jr., he cast her in the Broadway production of Golden Boy and then helped her get signed to Mercury Records, where she released her first single, My Baby. Sammy and another member of the Rat Pack, Frank Sinatra, would play pivotal roles in her success. But truthfully, this is how I remember Lola best. As a kid growing up in the 70s, she seemed to be on TV all of the time, either as a guest on a talk or variety show, or acting on shows like The Love Boat. And regardless of what she was doing, Lola was truly a memorable entertainer. I'm a great sex lover, as you can see. I take good care of my body, because a healthy body takes care of me. I'm a grape nuts lover, as you can see. I love grape nuts because I love me. If you love yourself and love staying healthy, eat a nutritious breakfast, including grape nut cereal. Great tasting natural wheat and barley fortified with vitamins with a crunchy good taste. I'm a grape nuts lover, as you can see. I love grape nuts because I love me. By the time the 70s came to a close, Lola was known as the Queen of Las Vegas. Her beauty, talent, and personality thrilled everyone who had a chance to see her perform live. And during the 70s, Lola found herself visiting with Carson from time to time as well. Each visit was fun and entertaining. The two really seemed to enjoy being with each other. And Lola, well, she could definitely hold her own when chatting with Johnny. But then Lola's manager made it publicly known that they had been told that she was no longer welcome on The Tonight Show when Johnny was hosting. I have to believe that when she heard the news and the reason behind it, she must have been flabbergasted. Why? Well, the reason for her ban had nothing to do with her. Instead, it was due to her close friendship with this guy, Wayne Newton. I know, I know, I'm shaking my head as well. That's crazy, right? Banned from The Tonight Show because of a friendship. That said, there are plenty of articles out there to back up the story. This article appeared in the Lexington Herald on February 4th, 1981 and says that Lola was banned from the show because of Carson's Las Vegas feud with her very, very good friend Wayne Newton. Apparently, Newton had beat Carson out of buying a hotel in Las Vegas. And the feud went back even further to when Newton charged into Carson's office one day and demanded that Johnny knock off jokes about the singer's masculinity. Of course, these two weren't the only ones on that infamous band list. Other entertainers who were not allowed to be guests on The Tonight Show when Carson was hosting were Charo, Rip Taylor, the Hudson Brothers, and Charles Grodin. In an article after Carson's death, even more information was made known about what it took to end up on Johnny's no-fly list. Barbara Streisand found herself banned for a while because she canceled and provided Johnny with what he thought was a lame excuse. Charles Grodin was there because he teased Johnny about not being invited to a card game. And poor Rich Little, he never did figure out why he got banned from the show. The article above titled Johnny We Hardly Knew Ye does mention, however, that by the time Johnny had stepped away from The Tonight Show, he had made peace with most of those entertainers who had been banned. Now getting back to Wayne Newton. No cracks about his masculinity here. Whenever I talk about him, I always feel like it's important to mention his act of kindness towards child star Dana Plato, who found herself experiencing hard times and in trouble with the law in 1991. It was Wayne Newton who secured her $13,000 bond that allowed her to be released from jail. A spokesman for the entertainer said that Wayne understood what showbiz did to people, especially the terrible toll that it took on children. Now, while I'm not particularly a fan of Wayne Newton's music, I've always been impressed with that simple act of compassion and kindness towards someone 
that I don't think he knew at all. Dana Plato's story is truly a sad one. Not only did we lose her way too soon, but her son is gone now as well. Those kids from different strokes really struggled. I'm so glad that things seem to have worked out for Todd Bridges after some rocky times for him as well. Okay, now it's your turn. Let me know what you think about Lola Falana and Carson's band guest list in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I talk about music, movies, and mostly TV from decades gone by. You know, the good stuff. But most importantly, and as always, thank you so much for watching.